Can you identify which one of these trees is a spruce, fir, or pine? We recently had a complimentary Christmas tree disposal and we were able to collect a spruce, fir, and pine tree to quiz you on. Pine tree needles are usually slightly longer than spruce and fir needles and are almost always in bundles of two, three, or five. If you see a bundle of longer needles, it's most likely a pine tree. Spruce and fir trees have single needles. Also, spruce starts with an S. Spruce needles are short, sharp, single, and square with three or four sides. If you brush your hand along a spruce stem and it's prickly, there's a good chance it's a spruce tree. Spruce needles are attached to a peg and they leave a tiny stalk when removed. Also think of the letter F when it comes to fir trees. Flat and fragrant. Fir needles have two sides only and are pretty flat compared to spruce needles, which can be three or four sided and a little bit boxy. With fir trees, think fir with a U. Fir needles are softer than spruce needles, like a fir coat. If you brush your hand on a fir tree, it shouldn't be as prickly compared to a spruce tree. Most fir trees also have a desirable, sometimes citrusy fragrant when crushed. So if you're not sure if it's a spruce or a fir tree, crush the needles and give it a smell. Fir needles also leave no peg when you remove them, so compared to the spruce trees, which do leave pegs. Take a look right here, no pegs. There's no cones present on the trees right now, but a mature spruce and pine cone will hang downwards, while a fir cone is typically upright and erect. You can also use that as an identifier to tell which one is a fir, pine, or spruce tree. So now that you have all the clues, do you know which one is a fir, pine, and spruce tree? Did you get them right? <laughs>